They teach how to do a uh, how to plank on the ground first. Before you get into so on someone's feet, I always recommend what do hold. Can you hold that position on the ground first? Because if you can, that makes you that much a better flyer. Because the partnership is not just all on the base, right? It's like you're helping you giving you're giving as well with the, as a flyer. Right. So let's say even with bird, if you're flying on someone in bird, can you do a, a plank on the ground first? and hold yourself here. Uh, so I always recommend warming up with a plank first. Okay. And then now when we're talking about making transitions from say bird to throne or bird to side star, what happens is um, you start putting more weight into your hands because their feet are on your hips, right? So you don't, mm -hmm. have, you don't have your feet pressed off like you do on the ground. So what I want to have you guys do is bring your feet together like that shoulder uh, width apart with your hands, right? Make sure your wrists are right above your shoulders, so not way out here, or like not too far forward. Just stack there. And then, I want you to just simply take a foot away and put it up. Now you, now you have more weight into your hands now. And I feel it, it in my thighs, so my, am thighs I going too. in the wrong place? No, you should feel it in your thighs too, but okay. you feel it everywhere. This is teaching you how to pivot and transition. Okay. Whenever you're doing a transition in acro, You'll, you'll have, um, maybe you'll start with four points of contact, two mm -hmm. feet, two hands, right. and then one foot is taken away. So this is this is mimicking that feeling of what it's like to transition. So again, we're going bird, plank position, we'll take foot off, back down, back off. Oh, you can switch feet, no, you can alternate. Up yeah. <laughs> and whenever you're doing a conditioning drill, I recommend you go about 50%. Okay. You don't want to max yourself out. Like if you can do, if you think in your mind you can do like 20 of those, do 10 of those. Okay. You don't need to do that. It's not, this is just a warm up. The second warm up is the same thing, but now your hands are together. Okay. They're right in the middle of your chest. Same wrist above your shoulders. Now your feet are wide though. Now here comes the hard work, right? If you can't do this yet, Keep your knees on the ground, okay? But if you feel like you, this is comfortable for you, hold it here. And then with your hands right in the middle of your heart, right there, you take a hand off, touch your chest, switch back. So this is teaching you when you're doing a transition in acro where the flyer is taking one of their, is uh, pivoting off the hip or something and you only have one hand to push off of. This is essential, an essential yeah. tool. Um, to be able to feel that, being able to take a hand off and feel that you can keep your your balance, balance just with your... three points of contact. Because mm -hmm. ideally, once once you get really, really more and more advanced, um, the next level will be being able to, to uh, okay, so we start here, right? Two, four points. So now we have four points, then we did three points, mm -hmm. and then the final thing is you want to work up to two points. Because when you can balance yourself with just two points of contact from here, then you're able to transition and open up so much more for your base because a lot of acro is transitioning. Yeah. A lot of life is transitioning. To be able to get from one place to another to another place smoothly is all about learning how to control your body weight. If you can't, then you'll likely find a kind of a rough transition. And I think a beautiful part about it for me is the fluidity and the dance of it. If you can go from one to A to B in a way that is nice and smooth, it not only looks pretty, but it just feels better. There's a flow to it. And that's, that's the state that I, I want you guys to learn to achieve, is that, that flow state of, move, of moving well in the world, moving well in, a, in, a, in an entire flow, right? Learning to go from here to here with some fluidity, right? So this conditioning drill is a big part of learning how to do that is again we're starting with four points of contact four bring the feet together bring it up down so I don't want to waste your time and do like ten of these but you get the idea so right. that's one another one's feet wide hands together and then touch your heart And then the last one, if you can't do it yet, get on your knees. I want you to go two points of contact, hands forward, opposite. 
So essentially, if you can balance your body on the opposite limbs, um, you'll be able to really open up your transition. So start off with, I recommend starting off with your knees first. Because you, for me, it's about um, not just Thanks learning how to do something, but do it well, right? So make sure your wrists are right above. A very common mistake is flyers, their, their wrists will be way out here or a little too forward, you want to get underneath you. This gives you the most strength. Wrist right above your shoulders. And then take a hand away, and then a foot away. Yes, let me do that. Where do you feel that? Where do I feel that? Mm -hmm. um, something I learned in one of Grant's classes was tight is light. Mm -hmm. And so sure. I just try to keep it all tight. Just pull it, I try to pull it all into my center. Tight and so when I'm doing this, I guess I feel it in my glute. Yeah. In here. And in this one, like I don't feel like, I just try to stretch out. I just, try, yeah. I guess I try to stretch yeah. to the ends. So totally, I totally agree, tight as light. And one way uh, I teach to remember to do that is just pretend you're making a poo poo. Like, yeah. you're squeezing the poop out. Your glutes are tight, your yep. legs are tight. And when you do that, your core stays tight and it makes when that base is flying you a lot easier. So, yes. yeah, definitely. So, I guess I bring my tightness into my centers, center my ab, and then also, like, you know, when I was flying, pulling it all into, like, this sacral area, like, pulling yeah. all of it so that I could help keep my torso up and my legs up when I'm flying. And then just reach out as far as, far yeah. as I could. And so, that's, I guess, what I keep doing. So my niche is acro, not particularly this condition. This stuff is I just learned along the way. Like, this really helps when a flyer can to do that. So I know Ami, your background is in yoga. So if you have anything to add when it comes to this kind of conditioning stuff, you let me know. There's something that, something else that you see that you can add to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with that one in particular, um, exactly what you said, pulling it all into the, the midline. Both the, you're doing this motion, like pulling it in here, but also Pulling it into like this line, this vertical line, mm -hmm. um, because the tendency with going, s switching your balance around, especially in plank, is to lean over to one side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. can like, because it's easier, right? Right. 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 Um, so bring it, just bring it to all the center. 